Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Uh, we continue our class chapter 2 uh, of analysis. So this time we will uh, discuss about the power flow solution and equation. Okay, we last time we have discussed about y bus, how we want to construct the y bus. So this y bus will be used in solving the uh, load flow using uh, <coughs> using cosider as well as uh, neutral action and fast decouple method so as been stated previously power flow studies or load flow is an important part of power system analysis. It is necessary for planning, economic scheduling and control. So the problem, what is the problem of power flow solution is we want to find the magnitude and phase of voltage at each bus as well as the power flow, real and reactive power in the each line. Okay, in solving the power flow problem, the system is assumed to be operating under balanced condition and single phase module is used so four quantities associated with each bus which are voltage magnitude voltage phase angle real power and reactive power so this example of the software the load flow solution using uh, ETAP so last time we have ETAP free ETAP uh, but limited to 25 bus only but now the license is uh, it's finished already so you can use any uh, commercial or any student version of uh, software that we can use in solving the load flow problem ok so this is one of the uh, well known software so this indication of bus ok this is the bus this is the transformer there so the power flow, this is sending end power and then this is the receiving end power so from here we can obtain the loss as well as it's shown the voltage for this software the voltage is shown in terms of per unit or percentage <coughs> as well as the degree for the angle so real and relative power, voltage and angle so this is our main purpose of uh, solving the load flow so as I said previous in, in previous class we have bus network classification number one is slack bus sometimes we call it reference bus or we call it swing bus also so here we know the voltage as well as the magnitude so we want to find the P generation and Q generation so for load bus also known as PQ bus meaning that we know the PD demand and also the QD so we want to find the voltage and angle at the bus at the load bus number three is regulated bus also sometimes we call it voltage control bus or we call it PV bus because we know the we know the PG we know the voltage magnitude but we don't know the QG as well as the angle so this is the classification of bus in the power system network so this is an example for the slack bus we know the V and the magnitude as well as the angle normally is referred to zero in PQ bus we know the P megawatts Q and VR PV bus we know the P P generation 200 megawatts and this one magnitude 1.04 so the unknown is our QG as well as our angle so for PV bu uh, PQ bus we want to find our voltage and angle for swing bus we want to find the PG and QG so remember power flow equation we have discussed these things uh, previously so the current go in to the bus must be equals to the current outflow we call it and that is what is a self-admittance 
So we can rearrange the equation using the KCL at bus I where your I equals to Y I zero because this is a V V I represent V plus minus V I times Y I O plus Y I one times V one minus uh, V I minus V one plus Y I two V one minus V2 and so on so forth until Vi minus Vn and you can rearrange and we <coughs> all the associated admittance we can collect and we can rearrange this equation and finally can be simplified as this equation number 1 where this is Vi summation of Yij minus for the yij that is not belongs to the or we can call it the off diagonal one ok so the real relative power bus i p plus j q i equals to v i i i conjugate remember we have apparent power s equals to v i conjugate so we use the equation to rearrange this equation so we can get this equation number 2 and we from equation 1 and 2 we can derive the power flow into these equations so the power flow problem results in a system of non-linear equations which must be solved by iteration techniques ok and a basic equation for power flow analysis is derived from the northern analysis equation that we have discussed previous class where we have a y bus times v this one in terms of the matrix equals to current so for example for the bus 4 bus we have 4 by 4 matrix ok so we v1 v2 v3 v4 and we get i1 i2 i3 i4 so let's say with and y i j is the element of the admitted matrix v i are the bus voltages i i are the current injected at each node so let's say we take a look at bus 2 so we can extract from this equation y21 times v1 plus y to 2 times v2 y to 3 times v3 plus y to 4 times v4 equals to i2 ok and then the loads on real power system are specified in terms of real active power not as current so from the equation 2 the relationship between the power and current at bus i can be expressed using this equation and remember we have derived this thing so we just put all the information here so at the end of the day, you can get your current I2 equals to P2 minus JQ2 divided by V2 conjugate. So, we use this equation and we put into the equation that we have derived here. So, make a substitution and then we can solve the V2 by obtaining our V2 equals to Y, 1 over Y to 2 p2 minus jq2 divided by v2 conjugate minus y21 v1 plus y23 v3 plus y24 v4 so similar equation can be created for each load bus in the power system so that one is for the bus number two so we can solve this using this equation for the others so i think that's all for today so later we will discuss about the gauss heidel method that will use this equation into the solve the problem of the load flow that's all for today thank you very much see you next class